It's March 2006 and Channel 4's Time Team has come to Sean Clifford out at Sandgate in Kent on the south coast of England. It's the first time that an archaeological dig has taken place here and given the military significance of the site, expectations are running high that some interesting finds will be unearthed. This film has been created from footage taken of the actual Time Team episode. It was filmed by members of the Sean Clifford Out Preservation Society. The president of that society is Chris Shaw, a historian whose focus of interest and enthusiasm led him to discover the site and to begin a campaign to restore it to its former glory. Sean Clifford Out has been placed on the map of history because of the French or at least the threat of French invasion back in the early years of the 19th century. It was a time of global war, with Great Britain engaged in both hemispheres from Canada to India, South America to Scandinavia. In 1789, Europe had been turned upside down when the French had a revolution and murdered their royal family. Great Britain had declared war on France, but with Austria, Prussia, Spain and Russia suffering defeats and humiliation at the hands of the French Revolutionary Armies under the command of Napoleon Bonaparte, Britain needed an edge to keep the French at bay. Britain needed a secret weapon. By the end of the 18th century, and after several abortive attempts to beat the French in Flanders, the British and French armies had reached a stalemate. The Royal Navy were holding the French at bay, but invasion was becoming an ever-increasing threat as the French forces gathered in strength across the Channel. Only 25 miles away, 170,000 French soldiers had assembled to bring Britain to her knees. In 1800, the British government held a competition to find a new firearm, and on the 14th of February that year, the Board of Ordnance made the announcement that Mr. Ezekiel Baker had won with his revolutionary invention. It was a rifle. All that was needed now were the men to use this new weapon. Coincidentally, in the same year, Colonel Coot Manningham had published the standing orders for his experimental corps under the title Regulations for the Rifle Corps formed at Blatchington Barracks under the command of Colonel Manningham. They became the Experimental Rifle Corps, who in 1802 were brought into the line as the 95th Rifle Regiment of Foot. In 1803, this new regiment was moved to the barracks at, yes, you've guessed it, Sean Cliff Redoubt, and there they became known as the Rifles. So Great Britain had its new weapon and a regiment happily ensconced on the south coast facing the threat of invasion. But one regiment was hardly sufficient to fend off 170,000 Frenchmen. A larger force would be required and under the command of a brilliant general. That man was Sir John Moore. A soldier soldier who is described by Wellington as the greatest trainer of men England has ever seen. With the addition of the 43rd and the 52nd regiments of foot, Moore and Coote Manningham forged a corps of men that became the Light Brigade. He trained his brigade to be able to deploy rapidly along the coast and with the exceptionally accurate long-range Baker rifle they will be able to pick the French soldiers off before they set foreign foot on British beach. Tragically, both Moore and Coote Manningham were killed in 1809 during the Corona campaign, whilst fighting the French in the Spanish Peninsula. Their work, though, had already been done. The training they devised at Sean Cliff Redoubt altered the operational tactics of the British Army, giving them a continued and unbroken succession of victories against the French that culminated at the Battle of Waterloo. Sean Cliff Redoubt is still important to the British Army, and the site belongs to the Ministry of Defence. The Redoubt, its batteries and earthworks are in poor repair, but the Sean Cliff Barracks are still in use and are currently home to those most formidable soldiers, the Gurkhas. Unfortunately, the rest of the site has fallen not only into decay, but also into the hands of local capitalists. 
A mobile telephone mast has been erected in the centre of the site and modern houses hem it in on all sides. The greatest threat of all is coming from housing developers who desire the land to build homes on. Napoleon Bonaparte once described Great Britain as a nation of shopkeepers. It would be ironic if those shopkeepers destroyed a part of our heritage that was designed to keep old bony out. The Sean Clifford Redoubt Preservation Society, working alongside the Ministry of Defence, is dedicated to preserve this site and to make it accessible to visitors who wish to know more about the birthplace of the modern infantryman. As a historical site, Sean Clifford Redoubt is important as being the birthplace of modern infantry tactics. And Time Team are expecting to discover evidence of the soldiers, their weapons and the training that began here 200 years ago. And not only had the production crew moved onto the site with hordes of archaeologists, earth movers, geophysics volunteers, historians and Tony Robinson, but Chris Shaw, with members of the Sean Clifford Out Preservation Society, is also on location, lending a hand along with fully uniformed members of the 95th Rifle Regiment of Foot, a reenactment group who portrayed the regiment as it was back in the Napoleonic Wars and how it would have appeared at the Sean Clifford Out. With so much to discover at a pivotal point in history, this episode of Time Team promises to be one of their most revealing and informative.